What's good YouTube? Welcome back to LFG. Today we're going to be doing a deck tech here on Eternal Card Game. And we're going to be doing a Sunken Tower deck. Now I didn't make this deck. A subscriber suggested it a while ago. I don't remember their name because it's been a few months. And I don't know if this is their build or if this is someone else's build. So you know who you are if you see this, comment down below. So let's go over the deck really quickly and then we'll do five games. So we're only running 15 units because as Sunken Tower is a clone effect, we're going to be cloning very specific units. So we're going to start off with Call of the Ancients. It's going to make some pretty good units to copy in the deck. Infinite Hourglass, just a single. I'm kind of a big fan of a single Infinite Hourglass. I used to do that a lot in some decks. Four Permafrost. 3 Accelerated Evolution, it really it's 6, because each one you draw has Echo. 4 Strategize, 3 Tiller is Favored, 4 Initiation, and with the units in the deck, this is a really good kill spell. We're running 2 Merit Images, and 2 Sunken Tower. So Sunken Tower is once per turn, you may pay 5 to play a copy of one of your units without Reckless, then give them both Reckless. After the third use, you sacrifice Sunken Tower to stun all units. Now, the reason I'm just building this deck is I got this premium version from um, Reset Rewards, which is why I mentioned it in the video that the subscriber commented on. And I didn't really feel like crafting <laughs> the second one for the deck, but I got one in a booster pack recently. So that's why I finally just decided to build the deck. Four Wisdom of the Elders, three Sandstorm Titan. 2 Obelisk, and then we get into the cards that are really great to copy. So we have Cerso. Cerso and Initiation or a uh, match made in heaven. Jotan Feast Caller. At the time that I was given this deck, Jotan Feast Caller was still a 4-3, and he recently got buffed to a 4-4, so he just got better. 2 World Bearer Behemoth. I kind of feel like maybe this should be more than 2, but um, we're going to be running this as is. I've tested it a few times, uh, it does find the deck, and we're running 3 strength of the pack, which is mana not being an issue, it's a better mirror image, and then 7 sigils, 2 amber waystones, 4 primal sigils, 4 cobalt waystones, 4 crests, 4 banners, and 4 seats. So let's jump into some games, and uh, we'll just do it in rank, doesn't matter. If our rank drops not going to stress out over that. Do like a little volume while I'm recording. Going to keep this. We're on the play. Five powers a lot, but I'm um, going to get the six one, then the deck out a bit, and we'll be pretty good for power for the rest of the game. This is also early game blocker. We don't have a lot of ways to deal with early game threats. Yeah, that's a good draw. Hmm. I'll wait on this in case he tries to sabotage or something. Not that waiting would make much of a difference because he'd probably just take mirror image if I did that block. All they really want is the war cry. They don't care about the damage in that say in that case. All right, we can't really do much, so we'll just play both these. I'd rather not copy <laughs> Talir's favorite. Hmm. So I expect weapons to start coming out soon. Alright, that's not a bad draw. Okay, I have to play this one if I want to get this out this turn. I was trying to wait to get Aegis, but uh, unfortunately I didn't have a choice there. 
No, they could have Vara's favor into removal. Hmm. Just gonna chump block. This card's such a problem. So now I gotta decide if I this is more of a threat or this is more of a threat. Actually I can do both, so we're gonna give this killer first before we clone it. Usually I'd wanna clone it after it's already drawn a card. So let's go with that. Um since we're gonna kill both anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's go with you. Since it's already drawn a card. And go with you. Yep, that is the correct way to sequence that. I could draw two cards here and see if I can find another initiation. Go that route. Alright, didn't find it. We're gonna just swing, because we can't block the flyers anyways. <laughs> There's the initiation. The good news is we can still cast it. Let's go with that. Just gonna get rid of the biggest unit. Also has War Cry too. Four, three. All right. Now the downside of the Jotun is once he gets going, like in that case, you start drawing too many cards. But I mean, that's one of those good problems, I guess. All right, let's move on to the next game. I'm gonna put the deck list of this in the description because I don't, like I said, I don't know where to find this list, so I can't link to it. Very tempted to keep this. I'm gonna keep this on the draw. Hopefully we hit power. Should have probably mulliganed this. Greedy keep. Okay. <laughs> we got lucky. We still need more power, of course, but we got pretty lucky there. Hmm, shenanigans. That's a nice little interaction. So because of how we've drawn so far, by the time we put something like this down, they're going to be able to kill it. We might already be too far behind. Oh yeah. I think we're too far behind. That's a good draw. Yeah, the issue here is going to be their removal spells, especially if they play another unit here, like that. Uh, unfortunately, I could play this, and next turn play this, it becomes 5, with killer it becomes 6. Actually, I can't play this, never mind, that makes it a lot easier. I don't have enough primal. If I did, I could have played this into this and this. This is game. I know the deck. We can't come back from that. Not saying we would have won, but I kept a pretty bad hand there.
Yeah, this is a keep. We have uh, two turn, three turn two plays. And we have a way to get more mana. Let's lead with that. Hmm. Alright, we're going to play this first. So next turn, if we don't draw anything, we can play two things in one turn. Sure. Alright, so we didn't draw anything. Let's start with strategize. Let's bottom one of those. And I'd rather play this now. This permafrost could be better used on something else as well. Hmm. Yeah, that card's a problem. We know I really have a way to deal with weapons. do this sure we'll keep that it's arguable that I should have bottom that and hope for an undepleted power Cry triggers going off right now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that on top. It's because it survives this currently. Though if they have another decent threat, especially something that got all those war cries, we're in trouble. I think that's it. So that drops us to five. We don't have a good block for that with Jotan. And if we play this, I'm really just assuming they have Vanquish. Alright, that's a good draw. That's a really good draw. Let's go with that. Still dead to Torch. Or that. <laughs> that works too. Yeah, so this does happen with the deck sometimes. It's a kind of clunky, but it's very fun. Ooh. I'm gonna I'm gonna equip that for the next game. I think that's the first one I've gotten. Yeah, let's do that. So two more games. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. As you guys have seen, early game, we don't have that many things. So I have Wisdom here, 3 power, Sandstorm Titan. We can probably draw power before turn 4. 
because I'm going to rock with this. If it's another aggressive deck, though, we're going to be in trouble again. Interesting. I haven't seen that in a long time. It's a pretty good card to make bigger. So what we need is, we need permafrost. Because I, I don't think this is going to live. <laughs> That's what I thought. Rule number one, don't drop your tools. Gotta go with this because I want to get a unit out there, even though he can't block anything. Jesus, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so let's give this endurance. Let's see what we get. Of course, it's not going to be enough. Flying. They still have lethal. All they need to do is a space. Yep, GG. This is not going well. I think this is going to be the worst record of one of these we've done so far. Sadly, this hand would have actually done better against what I just went went down to. If I had this early game, it would have saved ourselves a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and scout. Let's keep that. Let's do this right away. bottom that I'll keep the two waystones yeah that's fine I'll do it like that Ouch. I'm gonna just let that resolve. I mean, he's probably not taking this anyways. My guess is world break, world bear her. Interesting. Took Sandstorm Titan. It's not the wrong play. I think either of these would have been good. And Sandstorm stops his finishers like champion. Let's get that online so that doesn't happen again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lead with, with Cerso. And the reason is, Cerso dies to less removal spells than World Bearer does. But I think either one would die here. 
just I'd rather keep this if I can get this with a initiation it seems like more value all right that's a good draw let's bottom one of those As soon as you see that fifth primal come down, you're probably going to see a champion come down as well. Hmm. Alright, let's swing. I'm gonna give it flying. Now I know doing it like that, he could go Vara's favor and kill it here, and I lose an accel accelerated evolution. But I'm just trying to utilize my mana as efficiently as possible. Initiation. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. This might die anyway, so let's kill this now and get a power out of it. And now he has two units that he has to deal with. And draw a card off this. I'm gonna hold evolution. I don't think he can kill both of these in one turn. Okay. It's probably the one I would have killed as well. give this endurance swing for eight and once it's triggered its ability then I'll clone it and pass it back so now he has two eight nines to deal with of course he could go power removal spell removal spell but looking at our hand what else are we gonna do Yeah, that's, that's not it. It could be fancy and use killer here, but I could really just be a decent player and do this. It's exactly 16. Because the other way we don't win, it just looks cool. Your honor is noted. Alright, so we end up going 2-0. I, I mean, it's not the best deck. It's a very fun deck, and it's something you can play in casual if you don't want to risk playing it in rank. But I can tell you, when I was testing it on Sunday, there's a period where I won five games in a row with the deck when I was in gold one. So the deck does work, but as you can see, it can fall through sometimes, especially in the aggressive matchups. So keep that in mind, and uh, if it's your kind of deck or you've been holding on to some sunken towers and you want to get put them to use or give this a shot then the list will be in the description down below and don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed before two and three like i said not the best but uh it's pretty close to breaking even and as i've always said five games isn't really the best barometer for how well a deck performs it's not a big enough it's not a big enough field of play but thanks for watching